Heads Myths from My Life Myths. I hope you are well. Today I want to share with you the planners that I'm using for autumn or for the fall season. I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of an update. I will link down below any uh, prior videos. I think I have a journal set up or journal and planner set up video. Uh, maybe I think it was like a mid-year review. I will leave that probably uh, I'll leave like a card up there or leave a link down below. Okay, so let's get right into it. I will start off with my work planner. So this is my work planner. It is in the B6 size, housed in a Falcon Traveler's cover. This uh, is before or prior to her rebranding to Falcon Travelers. She used to be named uh, Lady Falcon Travelers. But this is a nice nude color notebook and so in here i just have a simple b6 sized uh planner this is from mujirushi or muji and i like to have my months clumped in the front of the planner let me see if i can find a blank one here i like to have my months clumped in the front of the planner and then the weeklies following in the back so i really like this layout i know there's um different layouts to play with but i've I've tried different styles and I always seem to come back to this one. There was a time where I had the monthly sandwiched in between the weeks and it just didn't, um, it messed with my flow and I got confused. Um, and so I, I think I will remain with the simple style where the months um, are clumped in the front and then the weekly section in the back. I really like to have a blank page to have all my to-dos for the week and then main points, uh, maybe top three or top five, I will list them in the respective dates. And then if I have appointments, I usually highlight them here in the corner on the edge. I love the fact that there's the previous month and the future month listed here. I just wish they had that <laughs> also um, in the monthly view, but I can always stamp it. It's not a big deal. So this is my work planner. Uh, the cover here from Falcon Travelers has a pocket where I use the Fusen, which is these tabs, these sti sticky note tabs that I, um, I like these because you can write directly on them and then um, they're refillable. So I really, really appreciate the fact that you can refill the inside. So um, the this part is so, so cute. It's the Mizutama one. Uh, you can I think we still have some available at the stationery selection and yeah I really like the refillable ones because this main body type is very very cute I just have that tucked in here I need to get a new sticky notepad so I only have two pages left this is the original Midori one that was in a box many months ago I only I even want to say many years ago <laughs> can see there the MD note when they first first launched the sticky note tab so I just have that in the back there sometimes I'll just open up my planner and then I'll just scratch something on there and then I'll slap it on and um, because this is I don't have any like cover on it uh, and it, it's like a just like a hard cardstock craft cardstock I don't feel like you know I'm ruining anything um, yeah, I just uh, write something that I need to remember and I'll just paste it on there. Um, I'm not using these bookmarks at the moment that are part of the journal or part of the notebook cover. I do use the leather, let me get it close up here. So I'm not uh, sure what the proper terminology is for this leather, it's like a tab in a way or like a page holder. Um, I use this and I usually use my thumb to thumb to the current day or if there is a week that I really need to look back on, um, maybe there's a lot of unfinished uh, tasks that I need to finish, I will place this bookmark there. It's very, very handy and it just kind of lifts to the exact page that I need. So that's the work planning part of it. And then here is just a leather um, folder from also from Falcon Travelers and it has two secretarial pockets. I think I have some personal information here. Um, but yes, so it has secretarial pockets. It has a credit card 
kind of s s slot here that if you need to use. Um, this one is with a sewn in pen loop. You can also choose to have two pen loops as well. And then I always use this one. This is the Jetstream 4-in-1. It's very, very weighty and hefty. Um, it's very uh, nice to hold in my hand. And I like that, that they have different colors and it even includes a mechanical pencil. So it's called a 4-in-1 Plus, I think. Um, but anyways, so I always use this one. And then it's housed nicely in this pen loop here. And uh, yeah, this is also, sorry, this is the new, so this is what it looks like now with the new branding from Falcon Travelers. And then in the back here, I just have um, some sticky notes. These are very, very old, but I use them once in a while if I need to remember something. Um, these are from Midori, and then I just have some letters uh, and stickers that I want to use in the back there. Um, it does come with an elastic, but I find uh, when I am at work I I'm always opening and closing opening and closing sometimes I'll just leave it open on the desk but because my desk is so small um, I don't have that space uh, to be able to kind of have have it out uh, spread out so I find that um, yeah I don't really use the elastic maybe at the end of the day I sometimes close it up but yeah I usually just kind of leave it out like that so that's the planner for work so here is the stack for I guess personal planning and uh, social media or YouTube planning. This one I I, I, I struggle because I originally thought, I, I keep going back and forth. Do I want to have my personal planning with my work planning or do I want to keep it separate? Do I want to keep my work planner separate? Um, sometimes I don't want to have my work to-do list flashing in my face if I need to look at my calendar for personal appointments. Um, so I'm using the Hobonichi Day Free in the A6 size. Let me see if I can find an empty calendar. So uh, I, like I said, I enjoy having the monthly view or the month on two page view clumped in the front of the uh, planner. And then with the Day Free, there's a whole bunch of empty pages that you can use to journal, uh, you can use to plan your weeks. Um, I really appreciate the fact that these are numbered. So you can see I have indexed that. And um, these little sticky tabs or page flags, I've actually journaled in <laughs> um, my journal here or in my planner. So I do like the flexibility. I was carrying this with me to one of the appointments and I had some free time so I just journaled and so I do appreciate uh, that these are just blank pages and um, that these are numbered so I will most likely remove those journaled pages and maybe put them in my personal journal or my Hobonichi Techo um, I just don't know what I want to do for 2022 yet I don't know if I want to go back to the A6 day free or not uh, but so what I usually do uh, because I had to go away somewhere uh, recently and actually it was a pen meet and I didn't want to carry I usually have these three notebooks together in this uh, notebook cover but I didn't want to carry all of these uh, notebooks with me because I had um, other stuff so I took took out the day free and I, I had to have Tomoe River paper with me, especially to a pen meet. <laughs> so I just took it out and I put it in this beautiful Sojourner cover. I really like Sojourner covers uh, for travel purposes. They're very, very slim and uh, compact and very lightweight. This one has a uh, pocket in the front. I think this is the July subscription. I don't know if she has any of this leather remaining, um, but this one doesn't really it doesn't scratch up or mark very easily so I can just toss it in my bag and uh, like I said it's very travel friendly it's nice and it's like a very slim profile and I really really like it for travel purposes um, it did have like a scent um, like a fragrant scent not like a leather scent in the beginning but it's dissipated now it's, I've been using it for a couple months and then in the back I just have this superior labor I use this actually as like a pen like an ink ink blotting paper not blotting paper it's a blotting leather pad I guess <laughs> you can see there um, this one had I think it had a patch on it and I didn't want to waste it 
and so I'm using it as a like an ink blot. So let me share with you what it looks like with the three notebooks all together. All right, so, sorry, this is another day. I wanted to share with you what it looks like with these two notebooks in here. So the first one is the multi-efficiency planner. It's like a field note sized planner. And this is where I kind of do fun journaling. It's overflow, I guess. Um, sometimes it's a summary, sometimes it's an overflow of my Hobonichi journal. Uh, but I don't pass it through the elastic in the middle. I just tuck it away in the front pocket here. Then I have my day free A6 Hobonichi and this is more of like my personal planning and and sometimes I will stick in my sticker release paper insert from Traveler's Company in here. I don't really have too much. Uh, I have to spend one of these days to I think that's the time consuming part is getting my sticker sheets out and sticking um, them into the sticker release but sometimes I'll have that in there if it's quite nicely so let me show you with it closed if it's nice and snug and because the strap is nice and generous um, I could probably fit another uh, field notes insert if I wanted to if I, I think some people uh, really like to stuff their traveler's notebooks but yeah you can see there you can definitely fit another notebook insert in there so there it is with the notebooks inside because the Nolte efficiency planner is slightly uh, thinner I have a pen loop stuck to the back here and then it fits the pen really nicely in this little nook as you can see there and yeah I, I usually carry this uh, for my everyday carry uh, if I do need to go outside and bring the personal planner with me I'll remove this and sometimes I will also remove this because I like to carry light <laughs> All right, so I'm back. I forgot to do a outro, so I'm here with a voiceover. I hope you don't mind. Here are the close-up shots of the Traveler's notebook covers that I'm using to house my planners for work and personal use. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think for 2022, I will continue to use the B6 size uh, notebook for work. And for personal work, I still haven't decided yet. I don't know if I'm going to com combine it into one planner or not. I might... Um, actually, I've been thinking about using the pocket, the Nolte pocket planner for my everyday carry, but for personal, I haven't... Uh, I might just remain in that, or I might once again get into the Hobonichi Day weeks, but we'll... S sorry, the Hobonichi Day free. <laughs> Okay, so I'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.